Hi, I'm Devin with this week's science and tech news. Google, the search engine giant known for pushing technology into unexplored areas, is blazing a new trail. This time, they're looking to bring some much needed female talent into the world of computer science. Currently, 1% of girls in high school say they are interested in computer science. So Google is launching the Made with Code initiative, which will give $50 million to support programs that get girls involved with coding and programming. Hopefully, Made with Code will bring more women into the heavily male-dominated world of technology. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration which is basically the ocean version of NASA, recently announced that the number of great white sharks living off the East Coast is growing. That may sound scary, but these powerful creatures have an unfair reputation as the bad boys of the sea, and they play a big part maintaining the balance of nature. Why are their numbers growing? Well, thanks to efforts made by the government and ordinary citizens, great white sharks are being hunted less. That's good news since the International Union for Conservation of Nature has great whites listed as a vulnerable species, which means they could one day become endangered, or even worse, extinct. The summer solstice is hitting Saturn's largest moon, Titan, and scientists are making discoveries that have them very excited. Since more sunlight is shining on the moon, Titan is showing off some of its secrets, like a bright vanishing object that scientists are calling the Magic Island. Researchers think the bright spots they're seeing through NASA's Cassini spacecraft could be floating methane, icebergs, or other signs of warning, such as waves or bubbles. These spots are some of the first signs that Titan's methane and ethane lakes may be responding to the summer's warmth, just like the lakes on Earth respond to changing seasons. See, Titan is the only body in our solar system other than Earth that has lakes, rivers, and seas. So scientists believe studying Titan can shed light on other Earth-like planets and moons in the universe. The Nobel Peace Prize is awarded to people for doing outstanding work in chemistry, economics, literature, medicine, peace, and physics. But there is a major category that seems to be missing, mathematics. Well, thanks to the new breakthrough prize created by internet billionaire Yuri Milner and Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg, mathematicians will now be recognized for their accomplishments in a major way. One of this year's winners is former child prodigy Terence Tao, who is famous for becoming the youngest full professor ever at UCLA. Breakthrough prize ceremonies are black tie affairs packed with A-list celebrities. The last two hosts were actors Kevin Spacey and Morgan Freeman, and each winner receives a $3 million prize. Hmm, maybe my math homework is more important than I thought. 3D printing is the latest tech craze that lets 2D designs become a 3D reality. Everything from engine parts to artificial human hearts can be 3D printed. But for the casual crafter, it can be a hot and smelly process that might not be worth the mess. Luckily, Creopop has developed a 3D printing pen that lets you draw a three-dimensional object with ease. When you use Creopop, liquid pours out and an ultraviolet light beam on the pen triggers a chemical reaction that changes it into a hardened form. Creopop has a huge variety of inks. You can use elastic ink to create a stretchy bug or doll clothes, magnetic ink to design refrigerator magnets, or glow-in-the-dark ink to fashion some awesome nighttime stars for your bedroom ceiling. The possibilities are literally endless.